Hello, what I'm going to show you today is the best way to change a piece of skirting board behind a radiator. And if you look at this skirting board here, you can see it's a bit, uh, it's got a few holes and it's a bit battered. It's also been put in originally in two pieces, one behind each pipe, because it's impossible unless you take the radiator off to fit that as one long length without adjoining it. So I'm going to show you today um, how we're going to take the radiator off. I'm going to take the radiator off without draining any water. Take out that piece of skirting board and put a nice, a nice new piece, a sol uh, one continuous piece behind there, and tidy that up. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, we're now ready to remove the radiator. Now, as you can see, I've already um, disconnected at that end using uh, the rad clamps because we're going to take the radiator off the wall with the water inside, as I said. So we're going to deal with this end now. The first thing to do is to put some cloths on the floor there just to catch any drips. Second thing is to get all the rad clamp, single rad clamp, and just screw it on the bottom right hand corner like that. Next thing is to get the guide rod and slip it in the hole through the block and just leave it there. Now I need to undo the union up between the valve and the radiator. So we're going to use the rad wrench and the rad spanner for that because you need to hold this valve very, very steady because uh, sometimes these nuts can be extremely tight. <coughs> so grab the valve with the rad wrench and undo the union nut in between now getting hold of the rad clamp seal which is this it's very thin as you can see in the end this is now going to slot in between when I pull the valve away it's going to slot in between and stretch over the uh, tailpiece and seal the water inside now this usually takes like one second so I'll pull the valve away now quick look that's it slotted in water sealed I need to hold that in place so just slide the guide rod up to the to the fork give it half a turn to engage and then push the whole thing that way to the right and you've got a pinch screw here just tighten that up to hold that in place so now the radiator is disconnected both ends with the water still inside now we're going to lift this off now and place it on these two blocks just for now but the one word of warning is these radiators can be very heavy, especially with the water inside. So if you think it's going to be too heavy, then please get help. So lift it off now. And that's it. So what we do now is we're going to uh, move the radiator over to the other side of the room, out of the way, so we can be begin work on the uh, changing the skirting board. So as you can see now the radiator has been taken out of the way, uh, we've removed the uh, two old pieces of skirting board. I've prepared, um, cut and prepared this uh, new piece to go and this is now one continual length and I'll show you how easy it is now to slot this behind the uh, radiator pipes without fitting it in two halves. Simply slot it over there and over this one, line it up and drop it in. See now it's a nice long length, looks a lot neater. So all we're going to do now is fix that to the wall and then we're ready to put the radiator back on the wall. Okay, we've got the uh, skirting board fitted now. Uh, we've put the radiator back on the wall. I've reconnected that side. All that's left is to reconnect this side, which I'm quickly going to do. So you get hold of your rad wrench and your rad spanner again. Just slacken off the pinch screw there. Slide off the seal off the end of the valve, slide that out of the way and quickly hook the valve back onto the tailpiece. Like that. Pull that out of the way. Tighten up the union, finger tight. Use your red spanner and red wrench just to finally tighten it up. Um, get on your bleed key and just bleed, there might be a tiny little bit of air in the radiator, just uh, release that at the top in the, in the bleed valve. Uh, take off your rad clamp, get all the tools and the cloths, move all that out of the way. Put that to one side. 
switch on the radiator make sure there's no leaks on each end and there you have it one continuous piece uh, of skirting board behind the radiator which I, wish, I think you must agree it looks a lot neater thanks for watching